guys. So Meze sent me yet another pair of earphones. This is not sponsored at all. They just sent it to me for free and they're letting me say anything I want about it. So the ones that I have reviewed before is the Meze 11 Deco earrings. Uh, earrings? Earphones. They're still beautiful. I managed to destroy it though, in case you didn't see my last <laughs> review. It doesn't matter how nice the earphones are. If you yank them really hard, you killed them. If I remember correctly, these particular earphones were pretty expensive. I think they were about a hundred bucks. But the thing is, this is not being sold anymore. So instead, they are selling this. This is the Meze Headphones 11 Neo. Oh, ho, ho. I was very pleasantly surprised to see that it was $49. $49 USD. So it's a lot more affordable. These earphones do not have any wood in it. Meze is known for their wood grain, wood stuff. They put wood in their earphones. So we're just going to have to see how it compares to the other ones with wood. But I am very excited to see that the Meze 12 Classics Gunmetal that is coming soon, it is not released yet, that one has wood in it. So I'm really excited to hear how those ones sound, but I'm guessing those ones will be more expensive. I think this one is mostly aluminum. It also says that it has a titanium coated eight millimeter Mylar driver. I have no idea what that means. I am just a classical musician who likes to listen to music, obviously. I'm not like an audio engineer. Let's open this up and see what we think. Originally, I was going to kind of film myself using it out in public and stuff, but I realized that I kind of like to open the box in front of you guys. Also, I noticed I didn't keep the box for this one, but if you look in my previous video when I unboxed it, it just came in like a tiny, tiny box. There wasn't really much thought into the packaging. They have upgraded the packaging like wow. You can actually open it like this. It's like, oh my goodness, look the, at the way that it's packaged. Oh, it's the same size as the previous one, the 11 Deco. I like that they make it in black now. The white got very scuffed very quickly. I mean, the black one will get just as scuffed too, but you won't be able to see it because it's black. So we've taken this out. Oh, they stuffed the rest of it under the foam. All right, well then, they definitely upgraded it. I'm just gonna do a little comparison for you guys. This is the 11 Deco. It's just sort of your typical white plasticky rubber wire, but this one looks very reinforced. It looks like a rope. I noticed that they changed the jack back to the non-angled jack. I don't really care if it's angled or not. Is this a button? It is a button. My goodness. I don't think the last one had, oh, the last one did have a button. Oh, oh. <laughs> never mind. I'm guessing you can just click through songs because I, I did that accidentally with the last pair of earphones. Let's see what it, what else it comes with. I'm guessing all the other stuff is in here. Yes, as usual, inside the little package, we've got more of your little earbuds. There's the little clippy thing too. What is the clippy thing for? Oh, I'm guessing it's to keep your wires organized. Oh, I like it. Oh man. I think they included foam plugs too. That is cool. Oh, it's supplied by Comply Foam. Blocks external noise, secure fit. Oh, I think this is the stuff that my church uses for our earphones. Whoa, no, this is this is not what we use. I'm going to have to try both the silicone earphone tips and the foam ones and see how they compare. But that is very cool. Now let's test and listen to some music. So I'm going to be listening to the one that I've been listening to for the last couple of videos. It is the Challengers track on the League of Legends volume one soundtrack. It's their orchestral one. Here we go. P pretty darn noise canceling, even like this. That was fantastic. It has that meze sound, like you can hear every single part. I can't 
get this sound from other earphones. Like it's just, ugh. Now let's try it with the foam plugs, not the plugs, the foam ear tips. Oh, also, yeah, no earwax. I am a person who has lots of earwax. So it's very, very impressive when earphones come out of my ears with no wax on them. <laughs> Straight up, these are like earplugs. Maybe that's why I'm calling them earplugs. Wow, the, these are definitely very much more uh, noise canceling. Let's play this from the beginning again. In terms of listening to music, I prefer it with the silicone ear tips. These ones, for some reason, actually muffles that lovely meze quality, that lovely, like, you can hear every single part type thing. I have heard that this is an issue where if you get super noise canceling earphones, listening to music is actually not as great. You don't actually want it to be completely muted over your ear. However, it is very noise canceling. So if you are wanting more of a noise canceling type thing, then definitely use the foam earphone tips. But if you are going more for the sound, then get these silicone ear tips back on. So I'm gonna just make sure that I'm not lying to you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot better with the silicone ear tips. The last thing I wanted to do was to compare this with the 99 classics which is the headphones so i know it's not a completely fair comparison to compare earbuds with headphones but i am curious to see if meze pulled it off where they tried to get as close to the sound that they have on their 99 classics because i can't get over their 99 classics poro in the back is wearing it so i need to get it from him there you go. i freaking love these headphones i cannot go back to other headphones after using the 99 classics all right here we go let's put this guy on i noticed that this time because the 11 neo actually comes in two colors gunmetal and iridium iridium is like a silver and so it's a lighter color i don't think they even asked me which one i wanted usually they ask me which color i want but i think now they know my taste now they know that i like the dark woods and the dark colors so they just said we are sending you the gunmetal one <laughs> let's listen to this again the earbuds still do not match up to the headphones but the thing is they are earbuds and they get up pretty close. The earbuds I would say are about 80% there, which is pretty darn impressive if you ask me. It definitely does not have the same warmth that the headphones have. I'm guessing they're 12 classics gunmetal, which are also earbuds. You can actually see it on their website. It actually says it's coming soon. I'm guessing those ones will add that warmth back in. Meze, I think you did it again. Also, I love that you guys have found a way to get the meze sound without the wood so that people who cannot afford the more expensive one can still get a really high quality meze pair of earphones. Also, thank you for reinforcing the wires on this because I don't think I will destroy these ones so easily. I've been impressed since the beginning and you guys are just getting better. Mm, I feel so freaking spoiled right now. They're sending it to me for free, but they're also not paying me to make this video so I can really say whatever the heck I want. I need to get my boyfriend to try this because I think he would really like it too. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that review. Let me know if you get the Meze earphones too and let me know if you enjoy them as well. So that is it for this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe for new videos every Saturday. My last video is over there and if you want to catch me during the week, my social media networks are down there. But otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Alright, test, test, test. Don't know if the microphone works.